Okay, folks, uh, what we have here is part two of our um, trap rebuilding uh, saga. And uh, what's here is a 0026T Warren Webster floating thermostatic trap. And um, the last time we uh, were here, we got the cap off uh, using a 29 millimeter overly tight uh, socket and we exposed the uh, old element and the um, seat see if we can get that at the bottom there so what I'm going to do is see if we can get this old element off now sometimes they come off it is spin right off other times you have to really uh, struggle so we'll see if this and it looks like it's just spinning and spinning. So I'm gonna, yep. And now I have to get that little nibbin out of there. And let's see if we can do that. Ah, yep, there we go. Grab it and it's gone. Let's see if we can see any kind of date code on this thing. Um, no, not really seeing a date code, so not sure what that means. And see if we can get this old socket off here. Maybe a little hammer and chisel might work. Maybe. <laughs> might be for another day probably do some people have recommended a handle puller I think that's getting there all right oh, almost getting a little progress thank you for your patience Almost. Gone. Okay. Uh, it's gone off to wherever. <laughs> All right. So, got to keep this cap. You can get replacements, but if you can salvage that cap, so much the better. Now, we've got the seat. Now, the seat looks like it's fully stainless steel. That is seven eighths. Um, Warren Webster trap seats come in two sizes, large and larger. This is a one inch, so you get a one inch socket and you can see just how thin they are. And so sometimes just to, you can probably attack that with, I would attack that with a regular six point socket. Uh, what I've got here is a seven eighths socket that I've uh, ground the bevel mostly off and uh, ground the outside a little bit to uh, really get in there and see if we can get this seat off of here. Yep, it comes right off. Yay! Sometimes it doesn't. I wouldn't use impact on this because uh, if it slips off, you can really uh, chowder up the, the edges. I try to get it off by hand first. And, and off she comes. And there she is. So you can see the difference between these two. And that's stainless, I think. That looks pure stainless. Uh, probably a late, yeah, it's a later version of the trap. All right, so the next part of the show and this is going to be getting these bolts off there um, and now for socket number three modification uh, this is a uh, 916 socket that um, I've beveled because the clearances here are a little bit tight 
Uh, these aren't bad, but this, there's always one that is problematic. So, slap it on my impact. And usually what you want to do is hit it forward, tighten it a little bit. That's a little counterintuitive trick, but if you can tighten it, then you should be able to loosen it. And off she comes. Yay! So I'm going to do the same thing here. Tighten and loosen. Off she comes. Yay! All right, that's number two. And there we go. Tighten and loosen. Off we go. All right, tighten. And there is our cap and freed. There's the old gasket, which needs to be cleaned off. And, and this is the, oh, oh, that's loose. All right. So I think we're going to stop here. Um, what we have to do is... Um, get this uh, little jasper out of there. What that is is sort of a lozenge of cast iron that hooks under here and here, and you gotta get this out. Um, that may require a little bit of heating to make sure that that works, because a lot of times if you try to take that off, you'll just wring that bad boy off. Um, that's the final hurdle to getting this off and then you can get the mechanism out. Um, just get it you an idea. The mechanism looks like this. That's the bottom part and this is the part that's held on by that uh, funky, funky, whatever you call it, bracket. And this is where the float is attached. float ball there, still sealed in its um, package, and gasket material, um, Dunham Bush bought out Warren Webster and for about two years made rebuild parts for it and then they threw them all in the dumpster, and so every once in a while I bought a, bought a few extra parts for this. So there we are. Um, the rebuild trap part sizes, um, there are two numbers. You've got uh, 4006 and then you've got um, 4379 from the Barnes and Jones. But this is the old style uh, with the old style bolt cover and this is not going to work. It's a little that threads in and then uh, but this sticks up too high so eventually we're going to be installing this more traditional Barnes and Jones capsule um, and we'll show that at a later date so we're going to stop here for now and um, gather up a few ideas on what we can do about this nonsense in here and um, I thank you very much I hope this was uh, was helpful